Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First, I want to thank you all for subscribing. I've just hit over 200 subscribers recently, and if you hadn't had a chance, please take a moment to like and subscribe for future videos. Also today, I want to talk to you about testing. I know it's not basically, you know, the popular part of, of writing code. A lot of people don't want to do it, but hey, if you're going to have a successful project, having unit tests and testing in general is very important. And there's a tool that makes it easy to track and make sure that you ensure you have some test coverage at a basic level and you can kind of configure this to how you want. And that tool is called Jococo. So I'm gonna show you in this project I have, uh, a sample set for Jococo. Again, I'll show you the doc where the documentation is. It'll be in the description of my video. I also have my GitHub link. And so let's go ahead and jump in the code now. All right, so here's my sample project. Uh, I've already included Jococo and I already did a test run so that way I can showcase the difference of what was there versus what we're going to see after I add some more test coverage. So if you scroll through this palm here, you'll see that I have some of the basic uh, Spring Boot dis dependencies that you'll need. Um, Lombok in here just because I, I have Lombok in pretty much every one of my projects. I also intentionally commented this out just for a moment to showcase how you can exclude certain classes if you don't think you actually need testing for them. For instance, I usually just exclude my application class, but you'll see that until I exclude it, when we pull up the test coverage report, that you'll see that it actually will complain about it. And then you can also configure things such as like the uh, coverage ratio. So we want 90% line coverage. There's other configurations you can set. I like to at least have this one to ensure that there's some sort of bounds where it's, you know, your team needs to at least meet 90% test coverage in order for their project to build successfully. This kind of ensures that the team is consistently adding unit tests and you don't get so far behind that like, you know, months down the line, you have 20% test coverage. And, you know, this just ensures that as code is added, at least there's some sort of accountability. So after you run it, uh, I will show you where that report goes. It's also being configured in here. I don't remember where the default location is, but I personally prefer to set this location, just target slash Jococo report. So if you see target Jococo report, and then if you open this index HTML, you'll see the report. So again, this is just a sample project. So I have like a, a very basic controller. Here is the controller test that I have. There's all kinds of different things you can do for testing. Uh, different ways you can test. Uh, here's just a couple of samples. If you want to have a more detailed video on testing, just let me know. Um, I could go on probably for several more videos about different ways to test your, your code. Uh, but here's just a couple examples. So yes, this is my controller test to test my API. I have this sample surface that has uh, a couple methods in here. I especially wanted to show what happens if you have conditionals in here, how uh, Jococo will also check for branch coverage, and I'll show that in just a moment as well. And then I will uncomment this. I had all 100% test coverage earlier, and I purposely commented this out to showcase how Jococo will notice this is branch coverage. Or even if you have like a, a biconditional where it says, is it this value or this value? It will still know if you've reached both conditions or if you've only reached one of those conditions. So let's go ahead and open this report. So if I right click this HTML file and then I say open in browser, now I can open it in Firefox here. You'll see now this summary of your test coverage. So like I said, this is that, jo uh, that Java application class and I don't really find a necessity to actually test your application class. I mean, really, I don't put a lot of logic in my Spring Boot application class. I don't think you should, but you know, to each their own if you just decide to do that. So because I don't, I like to exclude this and I'll show you how to exclude this in just a moment. And you'll also notice in the service class how I was talking about branch coverage. If we dig in here, you'll notice how green is the lines that are covered. This part that's in yellow is saying one of two branches missed. The reason being is that in one of my tests, it actually hits this else if before hitting the else. So it hits the condition, it validates the false, which would then go to the else, but it never has any testing to validate where it is true and would come to this condition right here. So Jococo, great for test coverage and branch coverage. 
and you can set conditions and configurations to say you want specific coverage. And it, it's, again, great to make sure that you're actually uh, having some responsibility for actually covering your uh, your test coverage in your, your project. So yeah, in my controller class, you'll also see that my controller also has its one method here cover. So going back in here, again, you'll see the different coverage I have, missed instructions, missed branches. Now, also I will include this link here to show some of the Jococo documentation. Coming back to the project, let's go ahead and uncomment this. And we'll also go ahead and uncomment in here where I was excluding the part to, or sorry, I had commented out the part that excludes testing the application class. So now we'll go ahead and just run one more clean install to generate another Jococo. And you'll see here that the Jococo report is generated under a target. Jococo report and now that index HTML. You'll see that it actually has this green check because it passed the test coverage, whereas before it had actually complained about it not having at least 90% test coverage. And also, you know, in your build, it's obviously gonna fail the build if any of your unit tests fail as well, but this is a double uh, check. So it's, hey, your unit tests have to pass as well as a certain coverage needs to be met. So now if we open up the index HTML, which I already had open, so I'll just go over here, refresh it. You'll now see that we have 100% for the service and the controller and the application class is no longer in here because I purposely excluded it. So this is a great way, again, to just be very thorough, make sure that you're properly testing your projects. 100% might be a little bit overkill, so you can kind of uh, configure it how you think is necessary. I would say at least 90% is pretty good. But hey, this is a great way to be accountable. It's easy to integrate with your project. I personally love using Jococo and I suggest you use it too. All right, that wraps up this video. It's short, sweet, to the point. I uh, just wanted to showcase how you could add Jococo to your, your project and read the documentation if there's any other configurations that you'd like to add. Um, if you want to see anything else about Jococo or if you want any videos again about you know unit testing, just let me know and I will happily research that if I don't already know it and make videos for you for those in the future. Please take a moment to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.